Hello, it's Paul here. I just wanted to make a quick video just to cheer up anyone who is sitting around and uh, a bit bored and maybe maybe this video will help you learn a new skill in Beaver Builder and uh, it's a particularly cool one as well. So I've been very envious of a lot of the um, kind of row separator effects that I've seen on other websites before and I've always done it with, for instance, um, with SVG graphics or something along those lines or code etc which has always been ultra complicated and um, Beaver Builder does have the ability to have some row shapes um, but I always found them a little bit limiting however it was just how I was looking at it I figured out a really nice way to create some absolutely beautiful row shapes in Beaver Builder and I will show you how that's done in fact I would like to declare them the holy grail of row shapes so let's jump in and see how this works so we've got two rows here we've got a content row and we've got a kind of hero banner row I've already created this obviously and I want to have a really beautiful kind of swooshy effect going on here so I'll show you what you would normally have achieved so if we click on beaver builder okay, let's click on edit this row and normally you would be looking at the let's just drag that in a minute let's have a look let's go to the the row shape where are we top shape let's go with bottom shape so traditionally I would have gone to here I would have gone to waves and I would have put in some random numbers in here to try and make it work so let's do something let's put in um, first of all here's what you want to do use the VW um, viewport width uh, setting and I'm going to set it to 300 and I set the height to about 10 okay so something along those lines you can see the gray area there where it's creating it all right so let's make that white And that's previously what you kind of think, well, that's that's all I can achieve, so I'm just going to have to deal with that. That's about as good as it's going to get. Okay, I'm just going to add a bit of padding on here just to push it down at the bottom. All right, that should be fine. Cool. And I would look on at other websites that had much nicer row effects and wonder how they'd done it. Okay, so let's see how we can improve that. So if we click on the row settings again, the first thing we want to do is, in fact, this time, add another style. This time we're going to add a top style. So that was the bottom bottom shape. We're going to add a top shape as well. We're going to add that one as waves as well. And we'll have it as roughly the same, 300 on the VW, height around 10. You can see it's white. However, this time we're going to tell it to be at the bottom center okay and we're going to go down to this setting and we're going to flip it around okay done it all right and then we're going to make that white okay and we're going to change its orientation okay and we're also going to make it 50 percent i don't know let's go with 50 percent 50 percent um transparent and then you can see something's happening in the background here we can click on save and we've got a, a shape with another overlay shape there we can edit it a bit more so that it's a bit it stands out a little bit over more on this side so we can just tweak the numbers basically so if we go down and maybe we'll do the y offset or something on the top shape this doesn't seem to do absolutely anything at all actually change the height and maybe just change the the width to let's say 340 something like that and you can see it's appearing over here now so if we change the height a little bit just so we can get a bit more over there and I want to flatten it out a little bit so let's try 400 yeah so we can even turn it flip it a bit sideways using the skew so I just need to remember which there we go okay okay so that's better already but I'm still really not done I'm gonna let's have a look at that setting here Where's the bottom shape one? Bottom shape. I want it to flatten out a little bit. A bit more like that. And then maybe... There we go. Okay. So we've got two now. But I want to add even more to it. So... Uh, one second. Sometimes you get that weird line effect. So you can... Generally you can do that by just adjusting two different heights to get... And then it will eventually disappear. Let's see. 
I'll worry about that later. I don't want to bore you with that at the moment. Okay, so now the row below I'm going to edit as well. So I'm going to edit this row. I'm going to add a top shape to this one as well. Waves again. Let's choose the same numbers just so we've got a kind of control. All right, I'm going to flip it like so. And then Y offset. Let's get it around here somewhere. There we go. And then obviously we're going to make this one white as well. And we'll give it some some more opacity there. All right, brilliant. And done and publish. Okay, then we can refresh the page. And I've just got to get rid of that little line uh, by adjusting the numbers a little bit, but you can see we've now got a really nice effect um, that we had that we didn't have before. And I don't sure, I'm not sure how this is going to work recording this now, but um, if I change the browser size, you'll see that it scales down. So we obviously need to add some padding on mobile, but you can see it actually scales down. So that's why you want to use the VW, because if you use the VW, it scales down nicely. If you use percent or pixels, then you end up with like a really wonky effect on mobile and tablet. But there you go. That's the uh, Holy Grail um, border uh, row shape effect that you can get there. You can obviously do a similar things with some of the other shapes, like the diagonal lines. So you can have kind of three different diagonal lines overlaying each other with different opacities. You can play around with gradients instead of just the white. There's all sorts of things that you can do. Anyway, that's all I just wanted to show you just now. Hope that's useful and teaches you a new skill that you can use on your next project.